here with um, young adults ages 19 to 39. This group was more concerned about how are we going to regulate um, cannabis. Potentially, if we do decide to have a shop or if we don't decide to have a shop, how are we going to regulate it? How are we going to enforce it? How, how are things actually going to work on the ground? Young adults are excited for their future. They really want to be involved in the decisions. It's not just going to be myself or Chief and Council that are making decisions for the community. When a policy is by the community for the community, we tend to see a better uptake of that policy and a better overall wellness. There could be uh, uh, community members who are uh, open to having their own uh, store and distribution uh, buildings, so it's up to uh, the individual and whether or not they want to uh, pursue that or not. I think it's important to try to make sure like before anything goes through that at least there's some sort of consultation that goes on so at least uh, people are doing their due diligence. Understand like as an Indian of the Indian Act of Canada that we are uh, we're entitled to our distribution and uses of our medicines and whether that be cannabis or sage or cedar you know we're uh, gonna respect it like it's anything else. Most people that I know are are aware of it and its uh, uses and stuff and they're not going to uh, overindulge in the uh, cannabis consumption. Yeah, I guess there can be a little uh, lack of a better, better term, like a sort of like a gold mine sort of thing, but with cannabis, I guess. It does its wonders, it's here for a reason, but um, it used to not be a part of our culture and all that, so I mean, uh, if you were to smoke it, it's kind of like, it's kind of just stepping outside of the traditional lines of how we would run things. But yeah, cannabis, uh, uh, it's like, could be for anyone, I think, because uh, we got like CBD products out there, like uh, anything that needs to be fixed, like uh, it's good medicine for it. People really rely on uh, the medicine once they get to know it. So cannabis, and cannabinoids as medicine. So in Canada, we only have three approved medical uses for cannabis. So the first one is nausea and vomiting. They normally prescribe cannabis for nausea and vomiting um, for chemotherapy. And then the next one is for appetite stimulation. So these are severe cases like people with advanced HIV AIDS who aren't eating as much because they just aren't hungry or people with severe anorexia. Third one is pain relief. So a lot of different cancers, a lot of different nerves, um, nerve pains, that's what they are prescribing these ones for. So medical cannabis has actually been around since 2001. So we aren't debating medical cannabis. Medical cannabis has been legal, it will be legal. So this is a giant wheel that shows you some different anecdotal or stories of different ailments, different sicknesses, different conditions that cannabis has the potential to help with. So here we have some like gastrointestinal, so that's in your stomach and your intestines, your digestive system. We have some mood and behaviors, neurological, other, and pain and sleep. And then the second ring here, it's telling you which cannabinoid is actually useful for that specific uh, condition. So it actually has more than just CBD and THC. So I'm excited that it's legal and we could actually do more research on it and figure out what actually works instead of just hearing stories about what works because on the last slide you saw that there's only three medical uses in Canada that are legal, but people are telling us that it can be helpful for all of these different things. So my next steps, I'm going to use information that the community members provided to me over the last day and a half. I'm going to develop some recommendations for Chief and Council and say this is what I heard over the past couple days. 
this is what I think we should do next and hopefully develop a draft policy and then let the community see this policy and eventually we're going to work towards a community vote. So do you want to see uh, cannabis in Whitefish River First Nation? Do you not want to see it? Um, these questions are all going to have to be thought through very thoroughly. Not everybody's going to agree, of course not, but with dialogue we want to come to um, almost a solution that works best for the most amount of people. Of course it's not going to work for everybody, but um, coming to a consensus where there's the most benefit and the least amount of harm.